Hello and welcome to another Asana training video. In this video I want to give you an introduction to a time tracking tool you can use with Asana to track your productivity and even for billing purposes as well and that is T-Metric. This is a great app that you can use that really extends what Asana can do. Like I said maybe if you want to just track yourself or your team's uh, productivity and just how much time you spend on internal projects I think this is a great way to just see where time is being spent. Uh, but particularly if you run a client facing business as well and you want to track your you or your team's efforts towards different client projects particularly if that's for billing you can use Tmetric to do that um, to just deduct like time from maybe an allocated budget that the project has as well so let me give you an introduction to Tmetric and explain how this all works so when you sign up actually the first thing you'll want to do is install the Chrome extension which I have up here uh, so that this can be integrated with Asana so actually once that's installed and you're logged in you just log into Asana like you normally would and you'll see this start timer button appearing inside tasks. Now, before you actually click that and start tracking time, what I would recommend is you um, uh, actually set up a client and a project first. So you can see if I go down to clients in here, I have a couple of clients already set up. I'm just gonna create a new one now. Let's create one called uh, SpaceX. I'm gonna give this a color, let's do purple actually. Um, I can put in an address here. I could set my currency and a default billable rate. So maybe I'm gonna build this project, the default rate anyway is 150 USD per hour. And then I'm just gonna click the save button. So that's my client now set up, ready to go. And then what I can do is set up a project. So you can see I've got some sample projects here linked with clients. Let's set up a new one now. So let's do um, SpaceX BFR design. And this is for the SpaceX client. I can give it a color, put in some notes about the project if I want, I can give it a code, and then down here I can choose how I want to bill for this project. I mean, I could make it non-billable, maybe for, if this was just an internal project for my own work, I could just make it non-billable and just track my pro uh, productivity. But if I want to bill for this project, I could give it a fixed fee and say, you know, this is a one-time, um, you know, I don't know, $2,500 project. Or I could bill based on time and materials and say, you know, it's billed at $150 an hour. This is actually pulled in from the client's default rate, but I could change that to maybe 200. I could even make it a work type rate. And so based on different types of work, maybe I charge design work at one rate and uh, testing at a different rate so I could have different work types build at different amounts. Uh, or I could just bill by person as well. Um, I'm just gonna stick this, uh, stick with $200 an hour and I'm going to give it a monthly budget and I could say right this is maybe 40 hours per month or I could change this and say actually the hours don't matter it's just once we hit you know four thousand dollars or something like that and if I add other team members in here if they are billed at different rates maybe I'm billed at 200 an hour my uh, somebody else on my team is billed at hundred dollars an hour depending on the time that we each track that will actually get deducted um, accurately from this from this budget so I can, uh, let's leave that at maybe 20 hours per month and we'll save that now. And so there's my um, project ready to go. And now when I'm ready to start tracking, what I can do is, uh, so I'm in, let's go to the SpaceX project. If I click on a task, I can then start the timer and I can give it a quick note. Actually, what we'll do first is let's add a tag. So maybe let's just add one called urgent. And now actually when I start my timer, you'll see it actually brings in that tag. So if you do want your tags in T-Metric and Asana to match up, or if you're using those tags in any way, it, uh, you, that's really useful to have those uh, copy across. And I can say, um, you know, this is meeting with client. It's pulled in the task name as well, but I could add some extra notes and I can assign this to a specific project and start my timer. And so I'm gonna go and do my work now. Um, I'm, I'll leave this running and then when I'm done, I will uh, stop this timer. And so there I can stop the timer now. And now when I go back to T-Metric, if I click on this time tab, this is kind of my time sheet for today. And so I can see um, some time that I've already tracked. There's that little one minute that I just tracked there. And if I click on this, I can see there's my tags been copied in. I can see a link to my Asana task as well. So from Tmetric, if I need to go and if I have a question about this, that's the great thing about integrating with Asana is I could click on that task, it'll take me back to Asana and I can see the notes, I can see comments and things like that. 
If you forget to stop your timer, uh, which can happen, you can retroactively adjust these times as well. So maybe let's just for purposes say that was an hour and uh, oh, I said you're gonna overlap with that one there, but oh, well, let's just leave it. So I can adjust that and make that an hour and I can see my time sheet for the day updating here. And with these timesheets, you can actually flick backwards in time. So I can click backwards and I can see this is how I spent my time yesterday on different projects and things. Um, and I can click into any of these to see, you know, what I did, or I can even keep, keep tracking that task as well. And there's some really nice reports here in Tmetric. If I click on this reports tag, I could look at a project summary and I can see how much time I've spent on different projects. So again, if you're gonna use this for personal productivity, it's quite useful to be able to see where you spend more or less time or for client work, which clients are consuming more time. I think this is really valuable information. Um, you can see a percentage of how much of the client's budget has been um, used up already. I can see how much time has been, um, has been billed. And I can even see an amount that I can now bill for as well based on the time that I've worked on that project. So there's some really good information here that Asana doesn't give you. This is what I mean. It really extends what you're getting out of Asana, um, particularly if you run like a client facing business. So there's some great reports in here. I can view a summary of my um, work by task so I can break it down here. So some really nice reports, team summary if you have teams set up as well. When I am ready to bill, if I come over to this invoices tab, I can generate a new invoice and I could say, let's do one for uh, SpaceX. I could bill just for a certain month or I could just say all time that's outstanding. I can pick a specific project and I can choose how I might break that down. I'll break it down by person or maybe by task. And so I can, yeah, maybe if I want line items for each task, I could break it down this way and I will click save. And so here's my invoice ready to go. From here, I can export this to Excel. I can save it as a PDF and send it to the client to be billed. I have some options up here to mark it as sent. And when it gets paid, I can mark it as paid as well. So I can really keep track of what billable time is, you know, I still need to collect payment for. So that is a look at Tmetric. Like I said, really great way to extend the information in Asana. Um, Asana doesn't have the best reporting features. So being able to see a little bit more about where you're spending time on different projects, or if you are using this for client billing, I think this is a fantastic tool for helping you to do just that. If you have any questions about Tmetric or using it with Asana, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.